Good morning, afternoon, evening, middle of the night to you, dear listener. Ariel here. Let's tease some audio, shall we? Let's tease some audio. This episode is brought to us by the Vocaster from Focusrite, Recast Studios, OSHA, and AugX Labs. These products and services are the reason we are here today making this show. Stick around after the show for exclusive offers from our sponsors just for our listeners. You might just win a Vocaster audio interface. We're giving one away on every episode of season one. Hi, I'm Tim Viegas. And I'm Ariel Nissenblatt. This is Trailer Park, the podcast trailer podcast. On this show, we explore the art of the audio teaser. We bring you trailers for podcasts that we think you should check out. Sometimes these trailers kicked off many seasons of a show we've all come to know and love. Or the trailers we'll showcase were made simply for creativity's sake. Other times, these trailers were made for projects that are seeking some funding. And even still, some of these trailers are somewhere in between all of that. So here's the plan of action. We'll introduce the trailer, hit play, discuss the trailer a bit, and then we've got some episode extras. So this show, Trailer Park, is not a serialized podcast, meaning you don't have to listen to it episode by episode, but we do think that you'll get some context by listening at least to the trailers that we created for our own show. It'll give you a sense of how we decided to roll this thing out. Of course, it's a podcast about podcast trailers, so you got to believe that we took the art of the trailer for our own podcast pretty seriously. If you haven't listened already, hit pause and listen to our pre-trailer, our trailer, and our teaser episodes. That's a lot of trailers, Ariel. (laughs) (laughs) Also, we'd love to know who we're talking to. This show is meant as a tool for podcast discovery, but also for learning. We want to help you create meaningful trailers for your audio projects. So who are you? What stage are you at? You can email us at hello at trailerparkpod.com. Last episode, we covered the trailer for Neurodiversity from creator Jessica Kidwell. It's a show about neurodiversity with the purpose of expanding our understanding of what the term means, elevating the life experiences of folks who are neurodivergent, and advocating for a more inclusive and informed culture. This week, we're going in a different direction. We've received so many amazing submissions for season one. Really, like almost 100 submissions. So... Our featured trailers really ran the gamut. We've got society and culture, arts, music, and a lot more. Let's introduce this week's trailer. It comes to us from creator Nakia Swinton. The podcast is called Sufficiently Black. It recently went through a rebrand from its prior name, So-Called Oreos. What's great about this trailer is that you get a sense not only for what the show is about, but for the people behind the show. This is especially important for a show that is so personality driven, which you'll find is the case with this one. In the trailer you're about to hear, the hosts combine clips from conversations on the show with direct script reading to effortlessly introduce us to their style. Let's hit play on the trailer for Sufficiently Black. We'll be back after it wraps to discuss. Catch you in a few minutes. (laughs) Welcome to Sufficiently Black a show that explores what it means to be comfortable in your blackness despite living in a world obsessed with stereotypes. Host Kia, Amari, and Janae deep dive into black womanhood. Personally, I know that when I walk into the room, I'm seen as black first. Yeah. Then I'm seen as a woman. Mm -hmm. The glass ceiling is already like there. It's already above my head. It's it's already above my head. Like shattering that bitch is real tough for me. Identity. I feel beautiful and my mom and like my mom's telling me my immediate family are telling me I'm beautiful but everyone everything else around me is telling me like I'm not beautiful and so it was never I never wanted to be lighter skinned or white I just wanted the fucking privilege (laughs) that came along with being light and culture it doesn't matter how much money you have as a black person you will never in your life you could say I'm not black I'm OJ you could say whatever you want but you still are going to be black. It doesn't matter. Through a critical lens as they navigate their way through adulthood. I want to look back at this year and say, damn, like that was a comfy ass fun year. That's what I want. Like I want this year to be like I'm running around in sweatpants, but have a glittery top in, like figuratively. Join us every other Tuesday for funny, 
and this is why I'm angry, yo. Because I'm like, damn, I was giving so much energy to these boys who like could not call what we were doing what it was, which is a relationship, dude. Like it's a relationship and I'm giving this all this goodness to you when I could be giving it to myself or someone else. And intellectual conversations. In order for black people to survive, you have to play a game of not being yourself. About what it means to be sufficiently black. Trying to mind my business and be black. That's basically about it. Available wherever you listen to podcasts. Bye. 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 Thank you to Nakia and team for sending in the trailer for Sufficiently Black. Tim, what are your thoughts? I always like to make you kick it off. (laughs) First of all, I was seriously vibing on that background music. I'm going to need to Shazam that track. I know this isn't a narrative podcast, but I really like the use of narrative elements to showcase the personality of the host. What about you? I was a really big fan of the trailer, but I am an even bigger fan of the cover art. We will, of course, link to it in the show notes of this episode. Cover art, the trailer, all the visual elements, all the sound elements, they're all part of the packaging and messaging of a show. And I really think that Nakia and her team hit the nail on the head. They did it right. Absolutely. We also had a chance to briefly chat with Nakia about the trailer and the show. Here's what she said when we asked her about the rebrand. We prompted the show's rebrand. We were um, just very cautious of the term Oreo. We didn't want it to be confused with the brand Oreo. And to be honest, we didn't want to get sued by Oreo. And we kind of felt like the show had evolved from just talking about that Oreo experience being, you know, called black on the outside white on the inside we started exploring more topics specifically about all of the african diaspora into deeper topics about black culture and identity particularly in america and coming from the you know lens of three black women who grew up in a very very white species of america but also evolved and made an effort to you know kind of tackle those identity issues and really be a part of black American culture, and I hope people see the magic in it. I hope they can relate to it. If you're interested in listening to Nakia's show, Sufficiently Black, you can find it by going to socalledoreos.com. The old name for the show redirects us to their current website for the new podcast, Sufficiently Black. Here's a sneak peek of some of the episode titles. We've got the Black woman versus the Black men experience at work. What is the safe Black person? the reality of being a transracial adoptee, and more. And if this episode of the Trailer Park Podcast was intriguing to you, we'd love to hear from you. You can leave us a rating and brief review on Apple Podcasts. If you're listening on Spotify, you can leave us a star rating. And the reason that we're only calling out Apple and Spotify is because statistically, you are most likely listening on Apple and Spotify. But if you're listening elsewhere, we hear you, we see you, we appreciate you. (laughs) Shout out to all those CastBox listeners. Not a sponsor. (laughs) (laughs) if you're following us on social you'll know that we've promised shout outs to the folks who've left us reviews so shout out to the following trailers is that what we're calling our fans i think so we'd love to hear from you though trailers do you like that name (laughs) first up from andrea 94 andrea writes such an awesome concept tim and ariel totally nailed the trailer for this trailer podcast thank you andrea Next, from Leah M. Sass, who writes, of course, the trailer for a podcast about podcast trailers is perfect. Thanks, Leah. We'll share more reviews next episode. So if you want to hear your name on this show, do consider leaving us a review. And yes, Tim and I work in podcasting. We both make a lot of podcasts. We're very involved with audio creators. So we're very well aware of all of the podcast scripting cliches that you'll hear. So we won't ask you for ratings and reviews on every episode, only sometimes. But just know that we would love to hear from you anytime. And if you're a podcaster and you want to get featured on our show, head to trailerparkpodcast.crd.co. We're taking submissions now for season two and beyond. Thanks for hitting play on this week's trailer. This is season one of the Trailer Park Podcast. This season will consist of eight trailer-filled episodes and some bonus content. We'll be back in your feeds next week with more. Oh, hey, good thing you're still here. We've got some exclusive sponsor offers. 
As we mentioned at the top of this episode, this show is sponsored by a bunch of amazing products and services that are simply perfect for creators. OSHA is a powerful all-in-one podcast marketing platform that combines all the tools a podcaster needs to launch and grow their show, hosting and distributing, promoting and monetizing. With its simple and intuitive dashboard, OSHA makes podcast marketing easy and fun. Recast Studios is helping us make video content for our podcast. We're going to be testing out posting things on YouTube, TikTok, and Reels. And Recast makes it super easy to upload our video recordings or even just our audio to create stellar-looking audiograms. We have some really creative videos promoting this show on our YouTube channel that you can check out. AugX Labs is also helping us promote with video content, but they're doing it with AI. And Vocaster from Focusrite is our audio interface of choice. It's what makes the show sound super clean. If you're a creator looking to upgrade your audio quality, we highly recommend the Vocaster. For this episode, enter to win by clicking on the link in the show notes. It'll take you to a submission form designed for this specific episode. And if you don't win, don't worry. We'll have more chances for you down the line. Thank you to all of our sponsors. This show is written by Ariel Nissenblatt and Tim Viegas. We are also your hosts. It's mixed and designed by Tim Viegas. Our artwork is by Kayo Slikta. Happy, Happy trails. trails. Good afternoon. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that should be it right there. Yeah. <laughs>